Will you be striking against Uber and Lyft? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think it's a good idea to strike? Let me know. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan and thanks so much for coming by. Sorry, I just got back from the gym, which is why I'm, you know, not in my professional attire today. Um, but I needed to get this video up because, um, well, it's currently 12.18 a.m. So the strike has officially started. Um, if you can see that, it's 12.18 a.m. And today's the strike, May 8th. What is it, 18th? No, May 8th, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's a huge strike. This is the biggest Uber and Lyft strike that's ever happened to date. So let me know, will you be striking? And um, if you guys didn't know, Uber is filing for their IPO. And if you don't know what IPO is, it means initial public offering. So it's the first time a company takes their uh, company to the public stock market where people can invest uh, in their company on um, on NASDAQ, right? Yeah, on Wall Street. So they can trade people like you and me can buy uh, Uber stock. Lyft had their IPO last month. Uber's this month. Um, Lyft stock is not doing very well. It IPO'd at around, or it opened up at 72 and then the first, or no, it IPO'd at 72, opened up at like 87 and now it's all the way down to 60. However, Uber's IPOing at around 40 to 50, but in lieu of the uh, Uber IPOing, and also the wage cuts that Uber has been putting on its drivers. Uh, and Uber even announced in their, um, in their IPO filing that they're planning to cut um, wages for, for the drivers. So uh, yeah, and this is insane. Like all, you just type in Uber Lyft Strike on Bing and all of these, you see MSN, San Francisco, would have, I don't know what this is, but Houston Chronicle, huge. CNBC, huge. Uh, look at this, MSN, MSN, CBS, CBS, USA Today, CNBC, Washington Post, Barron's, Business Insider. I don't know if you guys remember the last strike that happened a month ago. There was maybe one or two uh, news stations covering it, uh, and that was like during and after the fact. Um, because, you know, I made a video last time and I was like, I don't know if this strike's going to do anything. And then all of a sudden I saw on, on national TV uh, that Uber's, that Uber drivers are striking. I was like, oh shoot, maybe it is working. However, this time there's about 15 to 20 huge national and international uh, news stations covering this. So this is crazy. This is really big. This, uh, this is big for Uber drivers, and it's also big for the Uber and Lyft IPO, or Uber's IPO. So let's talk about that in today's video. Um, I'm just gonna go over a really quick article right here. So as you see, Uber and Lyft drivers, this is from Chronicle, from Cron. Uber and Lyft drivers plan to strike in cities across the United States. Um, yeah, a sign marks a pickup front for Uber car. Okay, that's just the picture. Drivers for ride-hailing Uber and Lyft are planning to turn off their apps to protest and what they say are declining wages at a time when both companies are raking in billions of dollars from investors. Exactly, so Uber and Lyft, they're, bring, they're getting billions, that's with the B, billions of dollars from investors while uh, Uber and Lyft drivers are basically taking the cut. They, you know, if you drive all day for like 12 hours, you know, probably making like three, 300, 400 bucks, um, you know, just driving Uber X. Um, and that's, a, you know, you can make, you can make good money, like, but you have to work a lot if you're a driver. Um, but for me, I just drive part-time. So I, you know, I don't rely on Uber and Lyft for full-time income. I know a lot of you guys do. So you guys who are driving full-time, you know, when Uber and Lyft cut the rates like, you know, 10 cents a mile, it's a big difference. For me, I don't really notice it too much. Like I said, I just do it for extra income, you know, probably making like 50, 100 bucks extra a day. You know, I'm not like, you know, getting hundreds of dollars per day. So people who are making three, four hundred, five hundred dollars a day, when they make like 10% less, you know, that's 30, 40, 50 bucks less. But for me, you know, I'm only making like, you know, maybe 10 bucks less at the most. So organizers are planning demonstrations in 10 
US cities. These are the biggest cities for rideshare. Chicago, LA, New York, SF, Washington, DC. That's huge in DC, but New York, this is the biggest one because that's where Wall Street is. They're timing, they are timing their protest in advance of Uber's initial public stock, which is probably for Friday Uber aims to raise $9 billion from investors. It is expected to be valued up to $91.5 billion. So what is Uber raising the $9 billion for? Do you know? I know, but do you know? I'll wait for it. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think they're raising the money for? All right, you want the answer? The driverless cars. If you didn't know, Uber has been investing, spending upwards of $20 million per month. Yes, per month on their driverless cars. And if you don't know, the stock price of any company is based on the either the current or future, usually the future profitability of any given company. As you guys know, Uber and Lyft are not yet profitable. They're already losing. Uber last quarter had lost $1 billion. In the first, in uh, Lyft, Uber's first quarter this year, they lost $1 billion. Yes, that is a lot of money. So I don't know if they'll continue to lose that much per quarter. So you can't really say it's $4 billion per year, but you know, it's around a billion for this past quarter. However, the reason that they're going public is so, or investors are investing in them, is because they, um, when they filed for the IPO, they're saying that they're gonna be profitable in the future based on their driverless car fleet. They will no longer have to pay for drivers and they'll have to pay a lot less on maintenance costs because mostly all of their cars are going to be electric and electric cars are a lot cheaper and a lot more sustainable and um, that's where everyone is working towards. Like you can just type in on Bing, driverless car Uber. As you can see here, like there's just everything, the Guardian, like that's what everyone's talking about. Um, Bloomberg, Uber driverless car. Oh, that's, that's when they killed a pedestrian. Um, but yeah, and then I actually saw this video, which I might do a review on this video. Let's see here if you can pull it up. The Uber uh, CEO, Dara CEO Uber. It's called, uh, this one is called Recode. If you haven't seen this video yet, I highly recommend watching this. Um, let's see if we can see this. It's called Driverless. Let me just see if it comes up here driverless uh, yes this one right here says the future look at this video only has 900 views I, my videos get more views than that in one day Dar Kosroswaki says the future of autonomous driving will be shared rides so Uber's own CEO yes Uber's own CEO says that the future of driving will be in autonomous vehicles and this one here Obviously did get a lot of views 64,000 right here uh, at Recode's Recode is a huge technology company Dara car swisher interviewed uber CEO. It's crazy how this only has 64,000 So not a lot of people have seen it. It's talking about the um, the driverless car fleet and um, The self-driving future culture issues former Travelist Kalanick. I know he uh, did a lot of controversial things and Uber's board. So, um, yeah, I love the CEO style. So Gregory actually likes Dara. What do you guys think about Dara? Do you guys have any opinions on Dara Kaswahawi? Or do you, do you like him? Do you dislike him? Um, somebody said, I don't like the dude. Okay. So, the, and nobody likes the interviewer in that. Um, but yeah, guys. And then also, if you didn't know, Elon Musk, I also, I also made a video on this. Um, He's planning on releasing 1 million robo taxis, which is, um, you know, code word for uh, driverless cars, aka um, autonomous vehicles. So, um, yeah, so basically every company is trying to go for like this 1 million guys. Everyone who's saying, oh, you know, driverless cars aren't coming for another 15 years. Right here, 
Elon Musk says Tesla will roll out one million by next, next year, within the one year. How many Uber drivers and Lyft drivers are there in the United States? Around two million. So Elon Musk is right there cutting that in half. Um, so in a year, you know, start thinking about other, other ways to make money or, um, you know, because Uber and Lyft is not going to be around forever for drivers. But um, anyways, this is all about the Uber and Lyft strike. I don't want to get too off topic. But yeah, guys, this is the biggest strike ever. And let me know, do you guys plan on striking? Um, do you want your voice to be heard? Let me know. Uh, I, like I said, you know, it's 12 a.m. right now. I'm going to probably upload this video in the morning or in the afternoon uh, during the strike, trying to get my voice out. I want to be heard. I'm a driver. Um, you know, I... Let, let's do something about this together. I don't know if a strike is the best way um, because, yeah, I mean, I don't, yeah, there's a lot, there's so many things that go into it. I've literally made like five videos on it already because I could literally talk about the Uber and Lyft strike for hours um, because, you know, like I said, actually, maybe I should share this with you guys super quickly if you're interested because this is the biggest news about the Uber and Lyft strike um, and why it won't work. This is the biggest argument that I've come up with. I haven't heard anyone else come up with this argument. Um, usually I like to argue on behalf of other people's thoughts. You know, I'm only so smart and I like to kind of, uh, you know, gather other people's opinions, facts, and then um, try to create an argument. But I also like to address the other side too. Like, I want you guys to decide. Don't just listen to me, you know, take your own opinion. But as you can see here in this article, Uber and Lyft strike drivers are playing a massive strike this week in over work conditions and pay rates. I still haven't even talked about pay rates. So that's a big one um, and work conditions. So um, basically, really quickly, the pay rate thing is that before Uber and Lyft paid more, and so now drivers have to, having to work like 10, 12 hours a day full, if you're working full time to make the same amount of money be, uh, as if, you know, since when you were making that money, like eight hours uh, a day. But yeah, guys, right here, as you can see, Wall Street investors are telling Uber and Lyft to cut down on driver income, stop incentives, and go faster to driverless cars. So... The fact that Uber drivers are striking right now almost gives investors confirmation that um, drivers are not the best option, and that driverless cars are, are are better because you know driverless, no drivers can't go on strike if there's no drivers, um, and they're you know, so that's that's the argument that the Uber the the Uber and Lyft strike will basically help the IPO. Um, like I said, I haven't seen anybody else argue that. Most people just say, like, go on strike, go on strike, without any, like, knowledge behind it. I like, here at the Ratchet Hub, I like to actually bring out new information and give this to you guys so you guys can make your own informed decision and not just go out on strike and not really know what you're striking for, you know? It's just like when you guys go to the election and you want to vote. You know, you don't just go out and pick random people. You know, you want to do your research, do your background research, and pick on your own. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Keep working hard out there and let me know, are you striking? And do you think it's a good idea to strike or do you think it's bad? Um, yeah, really quickly on my channel, I just did a poll. Let's see if you guys agree. Um, I did a poll on my channel. Uh, it said, will you be striking on May 8th? 64% said no, 36% said yes. The comments here, I had left Uber and Lyft driving for peace of mind. Where is the strike being located? Yeah, exactly. Like, people don't even know where the strike is. There's millions, like, like I said, there's millions of drivers. Not, I would say maybe one or 2% of them are online looking at news about Uber and Lyft. Other people just, you know, log on the app to make extra money. They don't really care. So... There's a lot of people striking. Yeah, this guy is like, doesn't even know where it is. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you do want to support the Ride Share Hub, check out the merch in the description. Um, 
Here we have, uh, this is our merch site right here. We have a bunch, of, that's probably my favorite. Um, we have a bunch of different stuff, um, you know, a bunch of different cool little designs here that we have. Um, or if you want to become an Uber or Lyft driver, use my link in the description below to sign up so you can get your bonus. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you all soon. Have a good one. Bye.